Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the coil packs in this 2011 Ford Explorer. If you need these parts or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. We're gonna disconnect the negative posts on the battery, the negative terminal. Once it's loose, wiggle it back and forth, and slide it off, set it aside. The air filter box is right here. I'm gonna disconnect this mass airflow sensor. There's a little button underneath here that unlocks it. Just push that button, release the lock. There's a wire that's connected right here to the box. You can pull up on this right there or you can use a little screwdriver and get underneath there and pry it up. We're gonna loosen up this worm clamp right here. Use a straight blade screwdriver. I'm gonna slide this snorkel back a little bit. And there's a hook right here, a latch, and then one right here. Those two, and then I'll slide this up. Set this air box aside. I'm going to take the filler cap off right here. We'll send it to the left. This foam piece comes up here. We're going to go around this cover right here. Pull this up. Like that. There is a little retainer over here. I'm gonna loosen this up. Pull that up. And then there's, over here there's a little push pin. You use a trim tool, pull this off. Pull that pin out. Now we'll pull this cover off and set it aside. All right, I'm gonna take this tube off right here. Just push this little lock and then slide this out. And then you can slide it out over here. Take that off. Take my straight head screwdriver, loosen up this worm clamp back here. Pull this off and disconnect this hose right here. Set this aside. Now I'm going to disconnect these electrical connectors for the coils. I'm going to take my straight head screwdriver, slide this lock up like that, and then push down on the retainer and slide it out. I'm going to do the same for the other ones. Now I'm going to take the coil out. I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket, extension, and a ratchet. Take this bolt out. Pull that bolt out, and I can grab the coil, slide it straight up. Here's the old coil. Here's our new coil from 1aauto.com. If you look, uh, the connectors are the same. The shapes of the tops are the same. This coil is made by TRQ, and it looks almost identical. There's not very many differences. The color might be a little bit different, but that's about it. Get yours at 1aauto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, I'm gonna install the coils. Slide it down. And we're gonna take the eight millimeter bolt. Get that started. Make sure it's all the way down. We'll take a eight millimeter socket, extension and ratchet. Just gonna snug this down and then I'm gonna torque it.
And I'm gonna use a torque wrench and torque this to 62 inch pounds. Make sure you're on inch pounds and not foot pounds. That's good, I'll do the same for the other ones. With those all torqued down, now we can reconnect the electrical connectors. Just slide this on, clip it in place, and then push down on the lock. We'll do the same for the other ones. All right, we'll just connect this connector here. This goes to the EVAP system. This is part of the purge. Uh, push down on this connector, pull it off. And the throttle body connector right here. I'm gonna use a pick first to pull up on this lock. Pull that up, push down on the lock. Pull the connector out, locks right there to release it. And we want to disconnect this vacuum line right here. It's a little lock, this little green lock. And here I'll just take a pick, go on the back side of this, try to slide this out. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Push down on these little tabs, slide that out, slide the vacuum line off, just like that. So these little tabs, I just pushed them down, push down on that one, and I'm going to hold it, push down on the other one, and slide out about halfway. Now I'm going to remove this from this bracket right here, and also right here, just pull this out of the way. That aside. And there's a coolant hose that goes over here. I'll just take this out of this bracket. Pull that aside as well. Now I'm going to use some hose clamp pliers. You can also use some needle nose pliers. Take this hose clamp off, slide that aside. Take some pick tools, try to get under this hose a little bit. Just go around there a little bit, and then I can twist it off. Slide that off and out of the way. And I'll do the same over here. Take these hose clamp pliers. Slide the clamp down. And take the pick tools. Try to slide this hose off, just like that. I'm gonna take this throttle body off. I'm gonna take these four eight millimeter bolts off. This is an eight millimeter socket, extension, and a ratchet. I'm just gonna grab the throttle body and pull it straight forward. You can pull those bolts out so you don't lose them. Pull the throttle body out. Be careful with this. All the electronics in here are very sensitive. You don't want to drop this. 
So we just place it aside in a safe place. All right, this wire is secured down by this little bracket. And I'm gonna use a little trim tool, just pry up on this, a little push pin. Slide that aside. If this coolant hose is in your way, you can take that off, but I'd rather not have to deal with um, adding coolant or bleeding the system after, so I'm gonna leave that connected. Just work around it. Then there's these eight millimeter bolts for the intake. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts that I'm gonna remove. I'll just use an eight millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Now the bolts are caged, so they won't come out. So just keep that in mind. Oh, this one's on there pretty tight. This bolt comes out, or it looks like it was probably supposed to stay in there, but it came out. There's a bracket right under here that is holding the intake on on the back side. Uh, so I'm gonna use an eight millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Right there. Right, that bolt out, we can grab the intake. It might be a little bit tough to pull off at first. Slide it out of our way. All right, with the intake off, you wanna make sure that you cover up these um, intake ports. You don't wanna drop anything down those ports or you're gonna end up causing severe engine damage. So you can put rags in there. You just wanna make sure when you're done, don't forget to take the rags out. So I leave them hanging out a little bit. So those rags are in there, and we're okay to work on the back side of the engine. All right, we're going to pull these locks up, these little red tabs. Just grab a pick, just pull them up. You could probably grab them with your finger, but it's easier to use with a pick or a small screwdriver. And then release the lock, just push down on the lock. and pull the connector out, just push down there. We'll do that with the other two. Now I'm gonna take a eight millimeter socket and a ratchet, and we'll take these bolts out. Take that bolt out, I can grab the coil. And twist it back and forth a little bit. Ah, it's on there pretty good. Just gonna use my trim tool and pry up on it a little bit, carefully. And there we go, this is the coil. I'll take the new coil pack. Slide it on. Push it all the way down. Take the eight millimeter bolt, get that started. We can use a torque wrench and we're gonna to torque this to 62 inch-pounds. Make sure you're on inch-pounds, not foot-pounds. That's good. We'll do the same with the other three. Now we're gonna reconnect the electrical connectors. Just slide it in, lock it in place, and then push down on the locks. Do the same with the other ones.
We're gonna remove these rags from the intake tubes. Pull them out. Wipe down the, wipe down this manifold. Just make sure you don't get any dirt inside the tubes. That's good. Looks so good. I'll take this intake, slide it into position, lift up on the wiring harness so it's out of the way. There is some pins in the bottom of the intake. You have to line up with some holes. Those are lined up. Make sure that bracket's lined up in the back there. Just gonna start one of these bolts. All right. And I'll take this eight millimeter bolt, install it into this bracket that holds the intake on. Before I tighten that down, I just want to make sure I get all these bolts started. Just get them started by hand. Install this long one right here. Gonna take a eight millimeter socket, extension and ratchet, and snug these up. We're gonna torque these upper intake manifold bolts in a specific torque sequence to 89 foot pounds. I'm sorry, 89 inch pounds. And this is number one. This one's number two. Number three. Number four. Then number five is over here. Number six. And number seven. Then once we torque those all to 89 inch pounds, we're going to torque them an additional 45 degrees. So it's kind of hard to get a torque indicator on these bolts, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, 45 degrees would be about half a 90, so if you're looking at going to a right angle, about halfway to there. So 45 degrees. We're gonna do it in the same sequence we just did it when torquing them. I'm 
Good to go. Now I'm gonna tighten this support bolt. Snug that up first. And then I can torque it to 89 inch pounds. Now we can install this vacuum line in the back, this vacuum hose. Slide this on first. And use some hose clamp pliers. Squeeze this down. Push it down there. Now we have a hose over here. Slide this into position. Slide that on there. Use the hose clamp pliers. Good there. I'm going to secure this hose into this bracket here, the coolant hose, and slide this EVAP hose over and slide this into the brackets and lock this down. Connector right here. Slide that connector on there. Lock it in place. Just gonna clean the surface on this throttle body. And then clean over near the gasket. It's a good idea to replace this gasket when you take the throttle body off. Take the throttle body, put it in position. Take the bolts. Get these started. We're going to tighten down these bolts. Try to do it evenly. Go back and forth. And I'll tighten this down to 89 inch pounds. Connect the connector for the throttle body. Lock it in place and then push down on the lock. All right, just gonna take a little brake parts cleaner and clean out this tube. Just make sure to get all the oil out, if there was any oil in there. That's good. Now I'm gonna reinstall this tube right here. Lock it in place. At this point, I can put this engine cover back on. I gotta take this cap off first. And this is gonna slide over here like that. I can secure this cover down right here. Just twist that down. The other side just had a push retainer. Push that down. Push 
like that. The other side just had a push retainer. So you just push that down. Just like that. I'm gonna reinstall this snorkel. Slide this into position. Slide this hose on right here. And then this hose goes right here. Lock it in place. Take a screwdriver, straight blade screwdriver. Tighten up this worm clamp. Snug. Make sure, make sure the snorkel is on there good. Slide this down. Slide the box down. I'm gonna install these clips over here. Lock it in place. And same with the other one. Lock it in place. Take this connector. Slide it on the mass airflow. And then this retainer that holds the wire down. Push that down there. I'll take a straight blade screwdriver. Just tighten down this worm clamp. Make sure it's snug. Reinstall this oil filter cap. Reconnect the battery negative cable. I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Just gonna snug this up. Make sure it's nice and tight. Not too tight though, you don't wanna break the clamp. And it's good and tight. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.